Welcome to this Austrian Market Insight on Africa. My name is Elizabeth Dietrichsen. I'm speaking to you from Johannesburg in South Africa. Africa has 54 countries. It's a very big continent. It's diverse, it's dynamic, and it has a population dividend that is expected to be 2.5 billion people by 2050. Of that amount, half would be under the age of 25. So this is the global workforce of the future. Creates opportunities for governments to train their citizens to meet the needs of the whole world, given that population growth is declining everywhere else in the world. In Africa, we have many diverse countries, although there are similar challenges in education. Most African governments are not able to meet the needs in training and education of the current population, which means this is going to become a pro bigger problem down the track. African countries also realize for the economies to grow, they need trained and educated citizens. And the citizens themselves know that education is a way out of poverty and education leads to jobs. Some techn technological advances in Africa can be used to bring education to people. As we look at the example of mobile money, why not mobile education, mobile learning, using technology that can leapfrog classrooms to smartphones and virtual learning. There are a number of countries looking at Africa, not only for extractives and agriculture, but also to build their own capacity and lengthen and strengthen ties. Look at China's Belt and Road, Turkey building factories in Ethiopia, gives them a strategic advantage. Australia is somehow not that visible and it's something that we can change in this next decade. There are success stories as far as Australian education is concerned in the continent. One of our flagships, of course, is Curtin Mauritius, aiming to establish themselves as a hub to bring education to African students in a pipeline to Australia. Other success stories would be Engineering Institute of Technology. That is an online training school that gives vet skills, brings vet skills to students across Africa. Idea Online is offering digital training to school kids reaching into Africa through their base in South Africa. Many partnerships and collaboration agreements have been signed in Mauritius with the University of Mauritius and other partners, extending the reach of Australian education, but more is possible. Opportunities exist across the continent to support teacher training, professional development, and also vet skills. The whole world of work has changed since COVID and Australia definitely has all the expertise to enhance professional development for those in their careers already, not only looking at student recruitment. Speaking about student recruitment, it should be noted that many African students would go abroad to study even pre-COVID. The popular destinations, US, UK, Malaysia, Canada, are more and more being changed to look towards China. That's taking many African students teaching them Chinese, Mandarin, and then sending them back to their countries with the necessary skills. So, partnerships in Africa is definitely a way to reach into the governments, starting to bring Australian education to market. But it should be with care and much precaution. So Africa, definitely, there are many things that are dangerous, not only the animals. So choose your partnerships. Ask Austrad, even though we may not be present in all these countries, we have networks. Let us reach out and check and double check to make sure these partnerships are beneficial on both sides. There are plenty of opportunities in Africa. Let's not delay any longer.